Find the inverse of each linear function algebraically. Draw the graph of the original function and the inverse. State the domain and range of both f of x and its inverse. In part a, we'll find the inverse of f of x equals x minus 3. To simplify the process of finding the inverse, we write f of x as y. This gives us y equals x minus 3. Next, swap x and y. Now isolate y. This gives us y equals x plus 3. Draw the original graph and its inverse. The inverse graph passes the vertical line test, so it is a function. The domain of the original graph is x belongs to a set of real numbers, and the range is y belongs to a set of real numbers. The domain and range of the inverse is found by swapping the original domain and range. In part b, we'll find the inverse of f of x equals negative 1 over 2x minus 4. To simplify the process of finding the inverse, we write f of x as y. This gives us y equals negative 1 over 2x minus 4. Next, swap x and y. Now isolate y. Multiply both sides of the equation by negative 2 to cancel out the fraction on the right side. This gives us negative 2x minus 8 equals y. Rearrange the equation so y is on the left side. This gives us y equals negative 2x minus 8. Now we'll draw the original graph and its inverse. The inverse graph passes the vertical line test, so it is a function. The domain of the original graph is x belongs to a set of real numbers, and the range is y belongs to a set of real numbers. The domain and range of the inverse is found by swapping the original domain and range.